Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the mid-November 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll probably do it in the intuitive messages they receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do have recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's go ahead and get into it. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or a month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the remainder of the month. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column. We're going to take a look... Um, we're going to do a message from your future self or spirit guide. So something to carry into the end of the month for you. But let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, again, column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. So we have a summary affirmation card here, Aquarius of Stretch. Um, this is one, so really what this means, I feel like this is having to reach a little bit further, stretch a little bit further for something. Um, having to, again, just go a little harder, go a little further, sh reach, stretch a little further to get things done. The nice thing is we still got things done, but I think they maybe just were a little harder than we would have liked them to be. But let's take a look and see what cards we've got coming through here for you for what's wrapping up and coming to a close. Up uh, first we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of being stressed, exhausted, having too many burdens. Again, this is having to push through, this is having to stretch through, having lots and lots going on um, to again that kind of extra push to get things done. Not surprised to see that because again it seems like we had a lot going on and we were already pretty tired here it seems Aquarius. The next card that we have is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Pentacles, this is typically a new job, raise, promotion, career, some sort of money news. So I'm glad you pushed through. I'm glad you made the stretch, made the reach, because I think it was worthwhile. I feel like we made it to the bonus. We made it to the new job. We made it to the promotion. Uh, we made it to the paycheck whatever it may be there, um, some sort of new opportunity. So again, I'm glad you pushed, but it was that stretch, right? And at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card um, of waiting, patience, delayed success. You see this person planted all these pentacles and now they're standing there waiting for them to grow. Um, to the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like it took, or excuse me, the Seven of Pentacles, it took us a while to push through this. It took us a while to get through this um, and kind of that extra effort. But this is the thing we've been waiting for, so I'm glad. Again, it was the promotion. It was the paycheck. It was the opportunity, the thing we have been waiting for. All right, looking at our clarifiers. First up, we have the World card. The world card's a card of completion. It's completing a goal, completing a lesson. It's the world coming full circle. It's the last card in the major arcana, so it's kind of that card of ending. So I like to see this. The cycle of being really stressed, really exhausted, really overburdened is coming to an end there for you, Aquarius, which is good to see. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a very resourceful card. You did a great job of juggling these priorities, managing your time, your money, your energy, Again, some of you are waiting for this paycheck, waiting for this opportunity, using those resources all in the right place to get you to this Ace of Pentacles. And at the bottom here, we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of going through a necessary transition. I know it looks a little dark and gloomy, but the boat's heading a forward positive direction. So again, I'm glad we waited it out. I'm glad we stuck it out. I'm not saying it was easy, but it was definitely worthwhile here. So that's great to see Aquarius. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is just general what's coming for the remainder of November. We have the card Motion. Um, this is a literal one. It means things are in motion here for you. Um, I hope that it's not quite the burden or the effort or the stress that it was last month. We're going to take a look at that. I think it will ease up, but things are definitely still moving. But maybe not everything having to move at once here. Let's take a look, though and see what cards we've got. Definitely already right off the bat here, much more positive than it was these last few weeks for you, Aquarius, so I love to see that. 
First things first though, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of putting in the hard work. So again, we're still in effort, we're still in motion, we're still making moves. It just doesn't carry the weight that the last few weeks seem to carry with it. Um, the nice thing about the Ace, or excuse me, the Eight of Pentacles, this is a card of reaping the benefits of your hard work. So you put in the hard work, uh, but you reap the benefits of that hard work. With the Eight of Pentacles too, this card has like a sense of enjoyment too. So again, we're not just grinding through, pushing through, stretching through like we did last month. Uh, we can actually have some enjoyment as we work through things this month. The next card that we have is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups has a different, couple different meanings. One of them, Circle of Support. It does seem like there's more help available to you going into these last few weeks of the month versus what was available to you the first few weeks of the month. So uh, Circle of Support, help there if you need it. This is also a Celebration card though, so I feel like we're getting stuff done, which is great to see. And at the bottom here, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card um, of having a plan. So do be thinking about making plans. For some of you, this could be travel plans even potentially. Um, but there's nice growth here. There's nice money here. Um, I feel like we're progressing without the struggle at this point, which is nice to see. Let's take a look at our clarifiers. First up, we have the Sun card. The Sun card in terms of good cards in the tarot deck, it really doesn't get much better than the Sun card. This is material happiness, joy, success, um, successful outcomes. So again, we're doing the work, we're putting in the hard work, but we're enjoying the process. There's a nice sense of happiness here. Again, the stress, the burden, the weight seems to be lifted. Um, but again, successful outcomes, hard work paying off. We talked about that. So nice echo with the, the Sun card there. Next up, we have the Knight of Pentacles. A very similar meeting, meaning as we were just talking about with the Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Sorry, I keep messing up all my words today. The Knight of Pentacles is a card um, of being nose to the grindstone, really putting in that hard work. But two, with the Knight of Pentacles, you reap the benefits of that hard work. So um, definitely hard work paying off time and time and time again this week these next few weeks so I love to see that. At the bottom here we have the Queen of Swords. This is a communication card so I'm hearing communicate the plan. Communicate what steps need to happen. Um, communicate. Communicate where we're going, where we're heading. All right next column we're going to talk about anything related to money. So quick money message here for you Aquarius. First up, we have uh, a, a practice card. The far left back corner of your home is considered your wealth corner. Adorn it with things that encourage money to flow, such as a water fixture or an abundance crystal. So in this column, we're gonna talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money. And first, we have the justice card. Um, if there's something legal, contractual, contract, matter of the court, any of those type of things, paperwork, this is a very favorable outcome for you. Definitely want to come out and say that loud and proud there. Even like negotiations, so favorable outcome for you. The justice card is like cause and effect, like you've put in the hard work, so you're reaping the benefits of it. You've done the right things, so now you benefit from it. Um, you won't be found guilty because you aren't guilty again. We didn't take, we did the right action, right? So life that favorable for you. The next card we have is the Two of Swords. It does look like there's some sort of financial or career decision happening here with the Two of Swords. So just be, be ready to make this decision. Of course, we're going to try and get some more details on it. It's almost like this truth comes out, this happens in your favor, and there's a decision that has to be made. Um, I'm just like going to throw out an example, like maybe you get a settlement of money and now they, you have to decide, do you take five payments or a lump sum or something along those lines, right? Um, and at the bottom here, we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is about kind of rolling with things, taking things in stride. Um, it's interesting. I feel like there's support here to... I'm hearing leverage your resources. So um, again, let's just stick with the example I threw out there for Aquarius. We're now being asked to make the decision like, should it be a lump sum payment or should it be 
uh, five separate payments. I would leverage the resources available to help you make that decision, like understand the impacts of them. Again, it appears that there are resources available there, so make sure that you're using them. All right, let's take a look now at our clarifiers. First up, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is very much so a teamwork card, very collaborative. So again, I feel like there is um, resources available, collaboration available, support available for you. This is also a card of like skill, quality, craftsmanship. Again, I feel like you did the right thing. You weren't in the wrong. You put in the hard work. So again, makes sense. We have the justice favorable outcome coming for you. And the next card that we have is the Page of Wands. This is something new. This is some sort of new undertaking. Again, we need to make a decision on how we're going to proceed forward with it. And at the bottom here, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very hardworking, very studious, um, very fitting. Again, I feel like you've made all the right moves. You put in the hard work. You are the good person in this situation here. Um, this is like new opportunity coming through. For some of you, this could be new love, and love isn't the right word, but it's like this relationship of support, this resource that will be leveraged here. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, anything related to love. We have a quick love message to start with. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving to light, creating room for new opportunities and new possibilities in your life. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love here. I just barely didn't give myself enough room. Sorry, Aquarius. I had to adjust just a tiny bit there. Okay, so first up we have the nine, or excuse me, the eight of swords. The eight of swords is a card of taking a little bit of time for yourself. I feel like you're a little withdrawn this month. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But again, I see you kind of pulling it, keeping to yourself. Perhaps there's something we're working through here. We have the Five of Cups, which is a card of low feelings. Maybe a friendship just ended, so we're kind of pulling away, feeling a little lonely there. This unfortunately can be a card of grieving, so perhaps you're doing some grieving, and again, it's just a little bit of alone time to process and work through that. But it is like something happened that we're feeling sad about, and now we're kind of pulled away to ourselves. At the bottom here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is also very much so a solo card. So I feel like you're um, a little bit withdrawn these next few weeks because something happened. But let's take a look, see what other messages I can give you here. Aquarius, first up we have the Nine of Swords. This is a card of like grief, anxiety, depression. So there are some, some feelings, some uneasiness we're working through here. I'm hearing that if you can get some additional rest, I think that would really help you as well. You see this person with the Nine of Swords is <coughs> sitting in bed. I think um, we do need a little bit more sleep, a little bit more rest there. Uh, the next card that we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is very much so a love card. Again, I think we're grieving the loss of somebody we loved or separation from somebody that we really loved or cared about here. And at the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is desires for long-term security, the things that we wanted long-term. I think we're feeling like um, they're gone too soon or the relationship was supposed to last forever. Um, so, of course, that's leading to those feelings of grieving. It's not what we thought it would be long-term, right? Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card formation. This one just means things are coming together, and sometimes we don't always see what's coming together in the background. It's happening in the background, but things are forming, things are shaping, the pieces are falling into place here for you, Aquarius. First up, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of giving or receiving. Again, things are coming into play. Things, The pieces are falling into, into place for you. Um, you could be receiving some sort of gift here. You see this person handing something over. But I'm more like, again, things are forming in the background. The pieces are coming together. The next card that we have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a dark, gloomy card. You see this person is um, laying down flat. They have all these swords stuck into their back. It's kind of like feeling like we're in a low spot. 
And again, you're feeling like maybe you're in a low spot, but you can't see the forest to the trees. You know, you can't see those pieces coming together, and they are. All these things are forming for you here. Um, at the bottom, we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands has occurred a victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Again, I can't say it enough, the message very clearly here. Things are coming together for you, Aquarius. Um, let's see what other messages we've got here. First up, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is that card of stress, exhaustion, too many burdens. This and the Ten of Swords together, there's just a lot going on. We're feeling like we're in a low place. Sometimes when we get these two cards together, it's kind of hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? But we need to remember things are coming together. Um, this next card we have is the Seven of Cups. If you look, there's something different happening in all seven of these cups. Again, there's just too much happening. You have too many things to focus on, too many things to work through that it's impossible uh, to see all the good things that are forming in your favor at this point, Aquarius. But know that they are. The pieces are coming together here. At the bottom, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace Cup, it's a card of newness with the case of Ace of Cups. This is typically new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. But I do feel like there's some sort of opportunity. There's some sort of success, the thing that we want. So um, it's all going to come forward and uh, unfold right in front of you. And you didn't even know what's happening in the background there. Okay, at this time, I'm going to give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. Um, we're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, we can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one, we have the five of diamonds. This is number 28 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the queen of diamonds. This is number 12 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number three, we have the jack of clubs, number 45 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes is all across the board there for you, Aquarius. If you watched our video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our healing stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of November. You have Carnelian this month, which is good for urge of discoveries, vitality, courage, and uh, overcome those everyday challenges with ease. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. Your healing note says, what we have once enjoyed, we can never lose. All that we love deeply becomes part of us. Thank you so much, uh, Aquarius, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Aquarius, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your November.